Let's look at how to enter a matrix on the graphing calculator. So we select the matrix menu, which is above x to the negative 1. So you have to hit the second key, x to the negative 1, to get into the matrix menu. You'll see names, math, and edit. We want to go over to edit, and you can select the name of the matrix you want to use, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We usually put our matrix in A, we're only doing one. We hit enter on A, and then you need to put in the dimensions for the matrix. So you need to look at what the dimensions are and put the rows and columns in. So this matrix on the screen has two rows and three columns. So we type in two, and you can arrow over to the one and replace that with three. It's a two by three matrix on the screen. Arrow down, and it'll adjust so it shows two rows and three columns, and you can enter the numbers. Um, when you're entering, they go across, so 6, enter, 4, enter, 24. And then that'll bring you down to row 2, and you can enter the numbers from row 2. 1, negative 9, make sure you're using the negative and not subtract, negative 9, enter, 8, enter. And they're all listed there. The best way to get out of this screen once you've entered a matrix is to do second, quit. Then you can go back into the matrix menu and do, do other things, um, and that'll be in the next video.